What's going on guys, Shiny Games here, and as you guys can see, I have Digital Deluxe Enhanced version of this game, and I have to say, when you get this game, out that you do not need the DLC maps or anything, so if you go over here to Standard, check it out, you get all three of these maps for free, and it's just the DLC is uh, classified. Uh, the DLC pack is classified, but I don't think I have it installed or anything. Cause only I, I think I only have the game installed at the moment. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna teach you guys on how to get the uh, Blunder Gad on Blood of the Dead. So first thing you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to go to Edit Game Rules and go into your custom mutations. Yourself a uh, short, an instant region, and of course. Don't play kills give health, health drain or anything, just put that on. And you're going to want to put 50,000 points on so that way you have a lot of points to access the uh, mystery box. And you're going to want to put a uh, long uh, last stand duration, but here's what you're also going to want to do. You can actually give yourselves a 99 or 100, just unlimited... Um, self revive counts so basically you can give yourself like nine you can just give yourself 99 self revives without even dying so you can keep reviving yourself over and over again until you run out which I think was pretty cool uh, so if you go over here to weapons go over to standard weapons and you guys this is what you're gonna wanna do you're gonna wanna turn off all these weapons even melee you're gonna want to turn all of that off and you're gonna want to put special weapon and here's the trick here's what you're gonna want to do you're going to want the wonder weapon on and you guys know the main wonder weapon on this map of blood of the dead is the blunder gat and here's what you can do as well go over the systems and it says power turn that on power doors turn that on uh, doors turn that on and barricades of course you're gonna leave that on and go over to mystery box so that way when you start the map you don't have to have to go through a, a lot of time to get it of course you're gonna want to keep this off I'm pretty sure you're not gonna want I'm pretty sure you're gonna want to have I'm pretty sure you're gonna want to have to keep spamming the box because you're not because you're also gonna get because uh, you'll go over here to weapons, it doesn't show secondaries, pistols, or anything. It just shows the main weapons like combat knife or the melee weapons. So make sure you got power, uh, doors, and uh, mystery box on. And here's where you're going to want always on. You can turn on power, I mean, pack a punch and power at the first start of the round and give yourself 50,000. So you can repack a punch. But pack a punch is going to cost you at least. 7,200. Here's why. Because you've got 5,000 to pack a punch at once, and it's 2,500 to free pack a punch it. So that's 7,500 uh, points. So that's why you got to give yourself. And then for power ups, I got five wall buys. Of course, I put on. Uh, so we're going to. Uh, so we're going to leave custom game rooms. And here's what's pretty cool. You can actually give yourself bots. So like say your friends are not online. Or you want to actually play by yourself. Or play with your friends as well. You can just put them on in. And if you go over here to create a class. Here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to probably put this. You can actually get a lever action rifle in the game. I did not know that. And this is for... Athen, Aether, and Chaos Store. So you can do both for each story. I thought you couldn't get one. Go over here to Armory, and some of these guns you can see that you can. So like um, some of the some of these guns are on different maps. So I select Blood of the Dead, right? So you're gonna be seeing guns in the Armory of this map, and uh, other maps from it. As you guys can see, I don't have any attachments for any other gun, so at first off, I'm just probably going to put the, uh, uh, probably, uh, the, uh, the XK, and we're going to put extra stock for that accuracy, 
And for I guess some machine guns we could probably put for the nine for the SOG. I wanna dual weld it. Fast mags, fast mags. I would put on stock. Put on grip. So now I got this thing on dual oil. Alright, so. Oh, yeah. You can actually inspect some of the weapons uh, that you have seen in mo uh, most Call of Duty. So they brought back the M1927, the gun. The Tommy gun, basically. It's a drum magazine, and it says high capacity drum mag with gangster feel. Because this used to be a because it's a gangster gun back in the because uh, back in the 30s and 50s and 60s, that's what they used. And of course, this is meant as a tactical rifle. And then uh, what I realized is that if you go over to Kashka, you can actually put iron sights. Like you can actually have an assault. You can have, you can turn this gun into an assault rifle, which I thought was pretty cool. And what I thought was pretty cool is that um, oh the. The Sturlock, uh, the sh I don't know how you pronounce that, but the Strelock or something. This thing gives you precision, precision accuracy when entering. I thought that's pretty cool. But I have iron sights on. You know what? And you can put a laser sight on here, so you can like probably do no scopes. That's really cool that they did that this year. Uh, Treyarch who are awesome for doing that. Also put iron sights to make the gun feel like an assault rifle. So. I'm just probably going to stick to a recon. Alright. Yeah, I like to customize my weapons all the time. And you get a bow, bowie knife, which uh, increases damage. Alright, so, um... Okay, now I gotta go all the way over again. Okay, you know what? Screw it. So you're gonna want to have power. Power doors on. Doors. Mystery box always on. Pack a punch always on. Uh, weapon standard. You're gonna want all that off. Uh, special weapon on. Wonder weapon on. All right. So basic enemies. You can always have crawlers. You can uh. Make them walk. And you're gonna want to give yourself fifty thousand points. So here we go. We're going to go into play.
Ah, uh, skip that. And I think the pack a punch machine is really close. So, uh. Yeah, turn all of that off. So now here's what you're going to want to do. Now I have everything unlocked. Uh, first of all, if you go through here, through the west, through the uh, new industries and go through this way. Uh, this is, So uh, if you go through here, uh, I, think, I think if you go through this way. Uh, just uh, If you just go past it here a few times, you know everything else so uh, if you turn off weapons but you have wall buys on it still won't access it because you know it's weapons and guys you will see to the powerhouse that you can uh, have pack a bunch right away so now we have pack a punch dual weld pistols and everything else so uh, so yeah but we're gonna find the mystery box and we're gonna figure everything out. Yo, I love having dual world pack and punch pistols. It just makes everything feel fun. Having cheats on for zombies, absolutely fun. Alright, so now if you go over here, make sure when you go over to the catwalk that you uh Swordfish you can buy right here. Mystery box, here we go. So we got this. So of course you're only gonna get. Ray gun. Okay, so we got the ray gun. All right. So this will give you the ray gun. All right. We only got. We only got pistol. Alright, we got the Mozu. So guys, you can only, uh, you know. Alright, got the uh, RK7 again. So I think you gotta keep spamming until you get the Blunder Gat soon. I mean, cause you know, sooner or later we are gonna get the Blunder Gat. Come on. Blunder Gat, woo, baby! We got the Blunder Gat, woo! So that is how you're gonna get the ray gun and blender gun at the same exact time. So now we are gonna go back down and pack a punch this thing, man. We're gonna go back down, pack a punch it, and uh, we're gonna go around the map as well. And we're gonna uh, pack a punch the M1927 because uh, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Tommy gun. All right, so I think I forgot. Where the pack of punches? I think pack of punches down here, and the sliding in this game, uh, just it, it's really fun. I think this. I think they did a great job on zombies this year. You know, bringing back a remake model of the the game. It's just it's just it's not fu it's not fun. And the uh, aim assist for zombies is really better than they did before. So um. Yeah, real good, real good. They did a real great job. So I think pack a punch over here. So guess what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna pack a punch. All right, we're gonna pack a punch the blunder gat, and you have, and you have, uh, you have fifty thousand points. So uh, guess what we're gonna do? We repack a punch it. 
Uh, we can't repack a bunch of it. So now we got some, uh... Now we got some uh, good weapons. Here's the powerhouse, but you know we already have power on, so you know how that's gonna go. So you guys, that is how you guys are gonna get the ray gun and blunder gat for the rat for uh, zombies, or only for this map, I think. So you can't literally sprint with this thing because you know it's kind of heavy. So uh, switch over to your light pistol or switch over to the ray gun. I like it how they still have that ray gun sounding. Ooh. So I think it's uh, down this way. Yo, yo, guys, let me know in the comments below if you guys think that this is probably the best map remake of Blood of the Dead, of uh, Mob of the Dead in over a while. So now we're going to go over here to the gondola and everything. I think this is, I think it's called the gondola, I believe. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to go down here. We're going to buy a weapon. Probably going to use the, uh, probably going to pack a punch it. Probably gonna turn in the uh, ray gun for it. I know it's pretty stupid to do that, but you know what? Probably. Oh, forgot. SMGs are off. Man, that's fine. That's cool. I guess we can play around for a few rounds uh, for the uh, uh, with these guns. So I guess I got the uh, I got the sweeper. I got the. Uh, This is a really great way, guys, to let you uh, roam around the map, you know, without any uh, other zombies or anything. So I, I guess you can't repack a punch or anything. Gosh, I think I love this map. This has to be, this is probably like the number one map I'm probably going to play uh, when it comes to, uh, to, when it comes to the game. Uh, well, to this, to, to zombies, basically. And guys, if you upgrade the blunder get to uh, pack a punch, it, uh, it basically it makes the gun add an additional uh, bullet. So instead of having one shell shoot all, it's gonna shoot two, which is pretty cool. That's so that's like a huge minor upgrade. <laughs> Uh, Dempsey, You're starting to make him crack up, man. Yeah, so, uh, oh, here's the Maddox. So you can actually roam around the map. I still got that max ammo voice going on so yeah guys this is a perfect way so if you guys want to roam around the map just make sure the walkers have uh, less damage to you and uh, yeah just make sure they don't have uh, just make sure you have walking speed on them and everything so now I have a part I don't know what that's gonna do 
And uh, I'm gonna break the news to you guys about this, uh, about this, uh, this, uh, the mutations and everything. This is a local play custom match, so if you guys want to do the Easter egg, the Easter egg, unfortunately, guys, is not allowed on this. So if you have, uh, if you guys want to do the Easter egg, you're gonna have to play with, you're gonna have to play online with other players. Yo, this blunder guy is real nice. I think this is a really fun way to get the blunder guy. If me and Corey were still hanging out and everything, and we played zombies together, this would be the number one thing me and him would play. You know, I probably get some other people to play. Oh, we got the snack dog, the hellhound, our friendly hellhound. You can buy the Mozu. I'm not gonna buy a Mozu though, cause I got I got I got the two best guns and zombies right now. Instant kill. So now, so now we're in round five. All right, we're gonna call for the gondola. Is that how you pronounce it? Gondola. Gondola. Yeah, gondola. Okay. So instant kills we're in out, so that means we're gonna be stuck on this uh, cell block here. Gondola's recharging, but you know right, we're gonna reload. I think also when you pack a bunch of weapons, you're allowed to basically uh, hold way more ammo than you had before. So the blunder guy, I think, would hold like 60 rounds with one shooting shell. So if you have two and you pack a bunch, it gives you more ammo to hold and more ammo to uh, carry. This is starting to get kind of boring just being up here, you know. So guys, I accidentally turned on the melee. I turned melee off, so make sure you guys turn melee on, because look, I'm hitting the melee button, and it is not doing anything. Hellhounds. So yeah, I also turned on the big guys to run, I mean to uh, walk, 
So that way when I do those uh, big bosses, you know. Oh, that can actually hurt you. Alright. Well, that's the... Hold on, guys, look. Look at my health. Alright, watch it. Instant. It's My health regenerates that fast. Yo, let's see if we can get another blunder gat. Let's see if we can get a new... Let's see if we can get the, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get the Blundergat again. Now nah, we're just gonna get that Mozu again. Now nah, we got the Mozu again. So now we got max ammo. When I played BO2 and I played zombies on this specific map, I would not be able to round uh, to uh, to you know be on this round because I mean guys, I got cheats enabled. Okay, so like uh, we got pack a punch on. We got uh, what do you guys know? So, um, please don't make fun of me if I say this, but I'm trying to get up to the roof. I have no idea where or how to get up to the roof. So this is to get outside. But how do you make it up to the roof? I don't know how to make it to the roof, guys. I have no idea. Oh, it's a mystery box. Ew, the burping sound in this game that they made is more. Should I should have put on mule kick so that I can hold, you know, more than uh Okay, um, we got a zombie coming this way, I'm gonna blast your ass with it. So yeah, I have the blunder get and the ray gun at the same time, both pack a punch and everything. Ooh, I think this is the, I think we're going to Warren's house. Is this the Warren's house? Yeah. <laughs> Can we stay here? No, we can't stay here, man. Oh my goodness, guys. We are going to make the blunt. We are going to make the magma gat right now. Let's go. We got nothing to worry about. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got to wait until they get close. So this is uh so this is how you're gonna make the magma gat. Sweet.
I shouldn't have not put that on because now all my souls are uh, I still have the gun in there and I just can't believe I got the ray gun and the blunder gap get our max ammo back so we are getting souls it's just we need to regenerate we just need to generate all those souls all the skulls We got one skull lit up. So now that all these are closed, so... We still got one skull. We are a few more away. Ground shaking, that means I, 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 it looks like big guy coming in. Alright, we're gonna wait for... So just shoot the, uh, for, for the ray gun, all you do is just shoot the ground to create crawlers, which is pretty cool. Alright, we got three skulls, here we go, we're gonna deposit the essence. The tempered blunder gag. Oh, that's so cool. So now we're going to take this gun back and we're going to... Okay, something happened. Did I just have to restart the product all over again? Yes, I had to restart all over. Screw that. Whoa. What is this? Underground passages. So the teleport, oh, it recharges. Now we can go back to the Warren's house.
I'm just I'm never gonna run out of ammo. Alright, we're at the cafeteria. I think this is where we go up to the roof. Infirmary. Okay, so I'm still in the infirmary, but I have no idea how to... Yes, we made it to the roof. When is running to the roof ever a good idea? Alright. Reload. Having a pack a punch blunder get is awesome. I'm just gonna stand in this corner and just wait for all of them. escapes alive. Alright, I paused it. Now, so I can read this person's comment. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
I know who's talking to me. Yo, Caesar. It, hold on, if I'm correct, is this the Caesar from middle school? Maybe I'm. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe this may. This may be a different. Uh, different one. I don't know. We got the, uh... Guys, I'm just never gonna run out of ammo. Now that I have these, uh, cheats. I call them cheats because, you know, they are basically cheats. I like the iron sights of the blunder guy because it's just like, uh... It's got the Hellhound face, and it's just got rails of uh, spikes as the uh, iron sights, which are pretty cool. Don't even got the blunder get reloaded. The blunder get takes him out in one shot. Round 19, I've never survived this round. Well, because I got these things on. You know what? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is going to do it for this video. Uh, please let guys let me know that if this tutorial helped you. I'll see you guys in the next. I'm out.